All right, I uh, just pull in. I'm, I'm gonna get my canvases and go inside to stamp. And actually, I see John Eastman there, <laughs> my buddy John there. So let's go inside. Okay, guys, I just stamped my canvases. This is actually the gallery right behind me. Uh, and this is the streets of Gloucester, right there and right there. Small, very small town, but historical. And we'll find something to paint here. Unfortunately, I have to paint. I just asked uh, the organizers of the uh, event what's the boundaries of painting. And unfortunately, I cannot paint in where I'm staying. So I have to come here, paint here. And I'm gonna honor this because this is what they do. All right, and I have my friend John here. <laughs> Hello! Again. <laughs> so we're gonna paint together. <laughs> so me and John are going to scout together. Uh, I'm gonna pick him up and we will go. Uh, he's a very nice, uh, good painter. Uh, he, has, he has his own style and um, Last time I was painting with him, he has actually got first place <laughs> uh, and just came from another three events and got, you know, um, Artist's Choice Award uh, first place and I think he said third or second place. So good artist. He has a good choice. Sometimes he's not looking for, when he's looking for location, he's not looking for iconic, um, um, iconic locations actually. He's looking for completely different, not as everybody else. So we're gonna join together and we're gonna find find location to to paint uh, starting tomorrow. Maybe even today, but we'll see. Just came back from um, all day <laughs> uh, scouting and also stamping. So in the morning I stamped the canvas, uh, met my friend John Eastman, painter from, um, he's a painter from Maryland as well. Uh, so we stamped the canvases and we went to his host and his host is a, you know, he's a local guy and he said he knows uh, a lot of spots. So we spent basically starting at uh, around 10 and finished, uh, what is it right now, five. So all day. And guess what? I just look all the images that I took and I will probably post on, on a video all the images I took and I'm just wiped out completely. I have no idea what to paint. What to paint. Uh, the only p images that I like and or, or location that I like is actually from yesterday when I went on my own. Um, so, to be honest, I just lay on, my, on the sofa, chilling and thinking what I'm going to do. I have no idea. Of course, I can make something ugly, make it beautiful. But I was hoping, that's the reason I didn't go to Annapolis, uh, because this year Annapolis and Gloucester was in the same time, and I actually rejected uh, Annapolis, and I came here hoping that, you know, this is a historical place, I can find a lot of nice spots, and I'm not sure, I'm just, you know, I just didn't have inspiration for some reason. So, I was thinking maybe paint today and just get but my, guy, my guts are saying, no, don't paint today, paint tomorrow. So, I'm gonna go with my wife on the beach and I'm gonna chill, not thinking about painting, because I know this will get me in trouble. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my friends. Um, we kind of quarter mile, missed turn left onto Virginia three east. We kind of missed one day. So yesterday I was um, scouting all day after uh, stamping the canvases. Uh, I cut actually canvases to the sizes that I need. Turn left on um, Virginia three east. We can only submit up to six paintings, so was easy so I need to paint only six uh, six paintings Virginia three east for two miles and I took uh, much more canvases so that's, a, that's kind of fine uh, I was very upset yesterday very upset but I decided you know what let's find something ugly make something beautiful um, so I painted today 
unfortunately I didn't, didn't uh, record it I will show you just results and, and, and tomorrow I will try to record uh, so tomorrow is actually official first actually today is the first day of painting but today is a Sunday I normally don't paint on Sundays but after church online I decided and I went and paint but I didn't, didn't record so uh, right now I'm going to reception we have all these painters right there getting together beautiful beautiful place um, they actually have very good program but I will explain later on um, huge house all right so I'll, I may talk to some people uh, record some people I'm in the car again. <laughs> uh, today is Tuesday, 
and I just find, found out that actually we have to return painting on Thursday, not on Friday. I thought we would have full five days, but it looks like they want us to return paintings on Thursday. Um, I just paint, uh, so I painted on Sunday, I painted Monday, about four pieces. Um, four or five, and I painted two today. Not satisfied, I only satisfied it was one, and it's six by eight, it's small. The rest is. Anyway, uh, so right now I'm on the way home uh, to Airbnb uh, because I'm not living at the host as everybody else because I'm traveling with my wife. Uh, I don't want to live here at home. And I recommend, guys, if you travel for plein air painting, take a spouse. In a quarter mile, turn. I'm going to chill a little bit. The temperature is 84 degrees. That's not bad. But I'm going to chill because today we have a dog and pony show. What do we call? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, so it's invitational to turn right onto US 17 North to one property. So all 20, 20 artists, invited artists, we have to go to uh, private property. I hope it's big and there is something to paint uh, because they will have reception with the collectors. The first reception we had just the artists, and sometimes artists, sometimes artists with collectors. Now this event they decided to to kind of divide this. So the first event was on on Sunday, um, and it was just for the artists, and it was very nice. So today is event. Continue on U.S. 17 North. With artists nine miles. and collectors, and collectors or patrons. They paid $500 tickets uh, to see the artist working. So basically, we have to set up our easels uh, on the property, find something to paint, and um, we have to paint. So that's why I call it Dog and Pony Show. I mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, we will be on a property. I'm not sure if there if there is anything to paint, but we'll see. If not, we'll find something ugly. We'll make it beautiful. Right. I need a creator, and this is a video, so. Oh, uh, it work. Oh, should I juggle? Look <laughs> into the camera. Here's the lane. Painting. I just finished one five by seven, as they promised. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Look at that! It's a flowers. It's famous on flowers. <laughs> oh. So these are the patrons that are paid five hundred dollars to get in to this event just to see painters actually working. So they just just came in, and I just faint, finished painting. <laughs> But you see painters everywhere and everybody's talking to each other. So I'm gonna go back to my easel and see if somebody will stop. Oh, hello, my friends. Today's uh, last day of painting. And to be honest, I kind of was exhausted from yesterday. It was very hot, very you know, humid. I'm humid, it was through the roof. 
Um, so uh, I painted this morning. It was raining. It actually is gonna rain right now. Probably storm. But it's um, actually promising because if rain will finish or storm will finish before sunset, that means it will be gorgeous sunset. Was it good clouds? Oh, it already start raining. So um, I already have about nine paintings. Uh, if I do right now, I probably will do something small, maybe six by eight, just. So where I'm going? I'm going to. I'm going to one of the private houses, private property. And they have, like yesterday, it will be a dog and pony show. Ooh, lightning. Uh, dog and pony show, the collectors are coming. They pay $500 to come and see painters working, painting. The team told us that we can finish uh, paintings and earlier and just hang out with the collectors if they have questions and just chill together. So to be honest, I'm not, I don't feel um, talking and chilling, <laughs> even though it's probably a good idea before uh, before sales. Uh, but you know my mentality. I don't. I, you know, not my my goal is not just sell. So I, I had a good good week. Uh, I found. It's always challenging to come to a new place, uh, do scouting, find location, and paint, and all this stuff. It's lightning. Oh, it's lightning and frightening. <laughs> anyway, um, if it, if rain will go away and the party is still on, I will show you. So today, I think it will be the same thing. I'm not sure if we're gonna paint actually, to be honest, I'm, I'm just exhausted. I paint today one just one work, I normally paint three or four a day. Uh, and today I just give, give a birth to just one piece, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, I was, uh, so sometimes it just, maybe weather, that's why. Anyway, so I'm gonna be there for uh, probably a couple hours and then go back to Airbnb, select six, six pieces, frame it, wire it, uh, and get ready for tomorrow, because tomorrow we have to, tomorrow Thursday, I thought we had Thursday and Friday, and then show on Saturday, but for some reason they asked for one day, full day, Thursday, uh, they decided to take entire day to hang the pieces in the gallery and the gallery will be actually because they don't want to do it inside they doing it in the tent big tent so they setting up a tent setting up the walls and hanging the, 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 the paintings it will be noisy hanging the paintings oh so Basically, Thursday, all day we have, uh, we have off. Friday will be uh, awards, uh, gala, gala, one hour gala with the uh, patrons who pay high tickets to get before the public. And then will be, uh, Public show. Look at that. Can't even see where to go. Crazy. And we're going painting. <laughs> uh, probably should stay home and chill and frame pieces. Impressionist. 
Plastic style. So this is another dog and pony show with a lot of people. There's a lot of people right there eating oysters, drinking beer, and we have to paint. Really show. Um, but I just lost my glasses and I'm not sure how I'm gonna paint, but I will try. Somewhere. Sir, what are you doing? And why? I think he's trying to get into the bag. Yeah? I'm like trying to Lynn, do you like snakes? You get some extra time on your huh? session. <laughs> you don't like snakes? Not a big fan? Oh, guess what? Third one is going. <laughs> here, no. Here. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a black snake. Yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna um, eat all the mice so they don't. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's cool. Okay, my friends, uh, I'm in my Airbnb. Today is the uh, last day. Actually, yesterday was the last day. Today is a drop off day. Um, we could paint today, but um, for some reason, the, the team of um, Plein Air, the organizer, organizers, um, they decided to have extra day to, you know, to hang the paintings. So they asked us to deliver paintings today at three, from I think from three to six, I guess. Where I think, as I remember. Um, so they have evening to hang the paintings and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a show day. Um, I think it's starting at twelve, 
If I'm not remembering, let me check. It's starting at uh, four o'clock. So it's starting at four o'clock. Uh, Artist Choice Award, then gala, meaning all the collectors will come uh, to whatever the gallery will be. And I think it's only going to be actually a gallery. Uh, they're setting up a big tent on someone's property because of the COVID, they cannot go in the gallery. All right, so four o'clock, um, Artist Choice Award, then rest of the awards and then gala when collectors comes they have they actually pay tickets like five hundred dollars to get um earlier before public and make the you know their choices uh, purchasing paintings so gala uh, at 5 30 and then uh, i think public public opens i'm not sure it's not saying when public is actually open for public when the gallery open for public and then uh, that's it. And then Saturday we have a quick, quick draw uh, competition. I'm not sure I'm gonna participate or not. Maybe not. I, to be honest, I'm exhausted and I don't have frames. So I may actually pull. Maybe I will pull. That's a good idea. Maybe I will pull some painting that already framed and keep it for Saturday. Uh, if so. If not, well, I have 11 by 14. Well, this will be kind of tough to paint quick drawing <laughs> 11 by 14, but maybe, you know, we'll see. I have three frames, 11 by 14 and then two 14 by 18, but it's big. All right, so last talking, I just uh, finished framing and naming, which just takes normally like <laughs> a lot of time. Um, but let me show you what I have uh, we, we can deliver only six paintings, six painting for judging and then the rest of the painting we can leave for sales for a month. Uh, they're gonna ship uh, paintings uh, that we for you know we're living for a judge and then un unsold they will ship back to us on their expense which is really good. I really like it. And then the painting remaining paintings uh, that will be on gallery on Main Street in uh, Gloucester, uh, if they are unsold, uh, they will ship it, but we have to pay a um, shipping fee. And I just spoke with uh, one of the hosts, um, John Eisman, my friend, the painter, that we paint normal together. Uh, I just asked uh, his host, nice guy, to um, keep the paintings. And if I will be swing, swinging by, I will stop and pick up uh, unsold paintings. So it's all working good. All right, let me show you what I got uh, for this uh, five days of paintings and uh, I will show you probably tomorrow um, in the final, uh, maybe awards or um, you know, all the paintings for all 20 invi invited pa painters, artists. By the way, this is in invitational. I forgot that I didn't submit my, you know, my paintings they actually contacted me invited me to participate in this event so it is, this is this is good all right so let me show you what i got all right so this is my small airbnb sorry for the mess we even have uh, bikes inside this is a kitchen and this is like bad here and um very tiny space so i normally we normally rent a little bit bigger so i can put paintings and this is Kind of clusters right now but let let's start from here so this is the paintings and uh, this is 12 by 16 sunset uh, over marshes uh, this is not going to be judged i don't think so next one is right here let me move that bird and again i don't have i don't have space so this is chicken farm right here this is heat on the chicken farm and they have a really good story about this this farm the guy was chasing us with shotgun um, because he thought that we were in, in, intruders on his property now I have this two small paintings right here and it's probably uh, uh, this will be judged and then small boats with clouds right here then i have painting right here but i don't have unfortunately i don't have and i pull it out i don't have a frame for this i like this painting 
some marshes and um, I didn't have a frame for it so unfortunately now we have this painting which will be judge it's called um, waiting for the catch uh, loading dock fisherman loading dock uh, what sun was shooting straight I, I you know it was fast uh, but I, I just love staying there and painting there so this is another one this is uh, 12 by 16 now this one is historical place uh, and I love the uh, I love this building and actually everything around you know there, there it was it was a really nice painting there all right then we have this small gem and uh, this is judged so this will be judged and this will be judged and then this this is six by eight I love this took me literally um, around about 30 minutes to start to finish but I, I just love it it's normally when you paint fast normally good stuff coming in so and then we have this piece uh, let be the light this is from garden and then I love this piece uh, just sparkling water and I just I just love it uh, very simple uh, I'm not sure maybe reflection this spot is I just realized there is a spot unpleasant spot but you know I'm not gonna fix anything so one uh, two three four five uh, six seven eight nine and shotgun ten so 10 paintings that I finish um, this what five days and uh, yesterday was raining uh, like big time it was stormy I actually was going to one of the places and I stopped three times because I couldn't even see the road in front of me um, today even today after yesterday rain and humid I just took my paintings outside I was thinking put put them on the deck because I have space on the deck and the you know painting start I mean frames start covering with the condensation so I just took it took them back right away because I, I don't want any condensation on my on the paintings actually uh, because they are still fresh all right so um, let me chill right now <laughs> because I'm tired if you have any questions shoot me and I will start I will continue uh, episode probably um, maybe when I deliver I will show you the space where everything will be hanging and then tomorrow the last day maybe quick draw maybe a good idea I'm not gonna participate and I can actually shoot the videos when, when people are actually drawing and, and you know uh, quick draw is two hours so if you hear the whistle you set up you hear the whistle yeah yeah dog and pony show again <laughs> you hear the whistle and you start painting and in two hours you hear the whistle you have to stop uh, if you continue going they can actually disqualify you and then you take the painting that you finished and you go to um, gallery put them on an easel judge will judge it and that's it and if somebody wants to buy it they will buy it uh, so that's that's a drill uh, that's a drill all right so I'll see you tomorrow all right so this is a tent where the gala will be there is actually a gallery um, Larry Moore just finished judging our work and then now we have to go inside and put artist choice I actually choice the best work in our opinion each artist will, cho will choose the best uh, painting and then awards will be running upon that so we're going inside and judging, selecting one best painting for art, uh, uh, artist choice. Let's go.
Pastel. Now let me choose my choice. Beautiful work. So I think everybody just voted and we have patrons coming to um, um, see the collection. So let's step out and chill.
coefficient of paint, small but it's mighty. It says enough without saying too much. It's a fresh and it goes to Georgiana Blessing. Just hanging this right now. This is the work of Mighty Shelby. Yes, I know. Thomas, where are you? Yeah, this is Thomas. This is this is this is the best of the best. <laughs> Where's your work? Right on the other side here. On the other side here. Yeah. Or yeah, I'll, email you I'll, te me. oh, I'll text you right. Yeah, I'll just I will text you. This is the uh, artist choice award. One of the, the best, one of the best one here. <laughs> And this is John's work right here. It's not hung yet, but will be hung. This is good work. Um, and others work, so they still hang right now. All this work. All this work. This is Greg. Greg's work. Beautiful. Pastel. Uh, this is Joe's work. No, this is not Joe. This is Kirk. This is Kirk. This is um, Daniel's work and Andrea. Oh, today is a quick draw, so I'm gonna go right there and stamp my my canvas and go paint for two hours. Whistle will start at 10 o'clock, so I need to get ready. So let's go. Oh, a lot of painters are already set up. Uh, and ready for the whistle to blow to start painting. So I found a spot. There is my setup right there. And there is many around. Everybody's around here. So we're just waiting for the whistle and we'll start painting. So we will see. Sorry guys, I uh, wasn't recording anything because it was raining, it was pouring and I was under the uh, umbrella. I just packed, already packed, my painting is actually in the car. Uh, I was under, under umbrella, I was holding the umbrella, holding my paper towel and brushes. <laughs> so I painted this, uh, this kind of building and a um, little bit of, of this. Um, packing. Uh, in five minutes will be whistle. We have to bring the paintings uh, to the uh, tent. So I'm glad everything is done. So let me pack and I will show you the painting when we go inside. All right. And it's crazy because my painting is actually right now inside my car and I will show you the actual drips. You know, like painting is covered with, uh, with uh, water. And I'm glad we're painting oil because oil can stand water. But at one point it was pouring so much paint was dripping even though it was water I'm not sure how but all right let me finish packing and we'll go to the tent all right so everybody just set up their paintings under the tent we have to be outside not in the gallery 
uh, some paintings are really beautiful. Uh, so, win or not to win, I think uh, the rewards or award is that you kind of, well, I participate in this and it was, worth, you know, one of the best painters uh, on this coast. Larry Moore is the actual judge, he's going to judge it. Um, so, let me show you the painting. 